Hi, and welcome back to the Kent ISD Remote Learning Bootcamp Organization and Communication Module. My name is Keith Tramper. I am your host for this module, and this segment is on communication planning. In times of remote learning, we know that communication is critical for helping our students manage their learning expectations. Um, I think we all experienced that it is a difficult thing to do, especially in this last go at it with the coronavirus, um, that when we don't have good communication from our federal, state, local um, leaders, uh, it makes it really difficult to communicate out to our parents. So we definitely know um, that this was a struggle area for many educators um, and for many students because ultimately getting that communication intentionally out to uh, our students is a really difficult task. So we wanted to devote a little bit of time for you to explore what intentional communication might look like in times of remote learning. So for this module, you're going to go into your guide doc and choose this communication planning document. You'll click on use template to create your own document and work within that. And that's what you'll be submitting at the end of this unit for your deliverable. So the communication planning document looks a little bit like this. You'll notice that there's a number of questions that are um, spread across the first few pages of this document. Those questions are there for you to consider as you start building out your own communication plan. Again, I've said this a few times, but you understand your students, you understand your learning community, and you understand your instruction better than anyone else. So it's important that you find a communication plan that works best for you, your students, and your families. What I did here is I compiled a bunch of questions uh, from my experience as a parent with students inside of the educational system, from conversations Ron, Craig, and I had with educators around the county, um, as they began to communicate during remote learning situations. And lastly, we checked out a few resources from uh, people we trust around the internet um, and basically took all of that information and compiled it into a series of questions for you to consider. I want you to note that you don't have to answer every single one of these questions. These are just things to think about to kind of prime your thinking as you develop your plan. So take time to read through these questions. You don't have to type anything in here. Um, we just want you to think through them. If you want to type it out, you can. Um, that's an option for you, but we don't need to see it. What we'll be looking for is down at the very bottom, this My Remote Learning Communication Plan. The questions here that we want you to respond in this box with are how you're going to structure your communication to students and family, when and how often you will communicate to students and families, where you'll communicate with students and families and how they will access it, meaning which tools are you going to use or where are you going to do your communication. The fourth is how you will partner with families to support student learning. And the fifth is how you will seek feedback from families and students about their well-being and their academic progress. We believe that these are five components of a good intentional communication plan for remote learning. And we hope that you'll take the time to explore this and what this will look like for your environment. Type your response here. Make sure you share this with edtech at kentisd.org. Copy your link at the top of the page and paste it into your checklist. Once you're done with that, you have completed everything for this segment and for this module, and you can move on to module number three, focused on instruction for all learners. Thanks for being with me during this module. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had a little bit of fun along the way. Um, and if you ever need any kind of help or support, please don't hesitate to reach out to edtech at kentisd.org. We are more than happy to support you in your remote learning instruction.